happy Tuesday, y'all. So, um, not too long ago, I did a video about, like, why is my camera all special? Tricky. Okay. Yeah, so, um, not too long ago, I did a video talking about friendships in our 30s. Don't paint my hair no mind, y'all. I just took my pants out. And I don't have no comb in the car. I just don't want to look crazy. Anyway, so I did a video on um, friendships in our 30s and why it's so hard to like maintain friendships and why people start to get weird with us and yada, 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 right? And so I've been re-listening to the 48 Laws of Power and I also listened to 50 Cent's uh, Hustle Harder, Hard, Hustle Smarter. And I got a little insight or a download, whatever you want to call it while I was listening to it, right? And one of the laws, I want to say it's law number, it's either two or three. Don't quote me. But I know it's, it's, it's towards the beginning of the book. Uh, and I don't have it on me, so I can't tell you right now. But one of those laws is um, to, matter of fact, let me find it, because I don't want to give y'all the incorrect information. And a lot of the time, I will get some information and be excited about it to share with y'all. And then, um, again, I'll be jumping all over the place. Okay, it's number two. So, law number two is never put too much trust in friends. Learn how to use your enemies. Right? And so, um, what I gather from that, it says, well, first, what it says here that I'm looking at, the summary notes. It says, if you hire a former enemy, he'll be more loyal than a friend because he has much more to prove. In fact, you actually have more to prove, more to fear from friends than from enemies. If you have no enemies, find a way to make them. Since honesty rarely strengthens friendship, you may never know how a friend truly feels. Friends will say that they love your poetry, adore your music, envy your taste in clothes. Maybe they mean it, often they don't. And it says, the key to power then is the ability to judge who is best able to further your interests in all situations. Here's the line that got me. Keep friends for friendship but work with the skilled and competent. Also in 50 Cent's book, and I haven't got to it yet, but there's another book that he actually uh, wrote in, uh, in con with Robert Greene, and it's called The 50th Law. And I haven't got to that one yet. But in his book, Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter, he actually talks about how he is, um, that's, one of, that's become a, a friend of his. And there was a lot that he actually learned from him. And one of the things that he speaks about in the book is that he never wants to make an enemy with anyone. That's not ever his intention. Like he's been, he's been seen as a troll, et cetera, et cetera. But he always says like, that's never his intention. His intention is to always become, to, is always to make friends. But if you are not willing to be a friend of his, then he has no issue with making you an enemy. Because either way he can, he can, he can benefit from you in some way, shape or form. He said that he benefits more off of you being his enemy, honestly, than his friend. So, I thought about that. Um, a lot of us, I feel like in our 30s especially, we're in this place now where there are some of us that um, we have certain uh, goals and timelines and stuff set for ourselves, right? So we may look at our lives and we might have at 26 said, you know what, by 35, I want to be married. I want to have four kids. I don't want to have a house. Um, I want to drive this, this, and this type of car. I want to have this kind of job. I want to make this kind of income. And... There are some of us where when we are, when our friends or the people around us are reaching those um, goals or they're making those things seem easy, there are there are those friends that have not yet reached that spot, they tend to take offense to that. Um, this is why I've said in other videos, like we have got to learn to separate the emotion out of things. I wanna say, um, was it Neville? I don't remember, so I don't want to lie. I, I'm, my brain says Neville got her, but I'm, I'm probably wrong. But there is a book called How to Control Your Emotions. And it speaks on, like, of course, acknowledge how you feel. Acknowledge that things, how things are affecting you. But don't let those things affect, like, your everyday and, and whatever. And so um, they they speak on that. Um, Y'all, it's Torrance PD behind me, so I'm just going to keep driving. I don't want no smoke with them and my registration is already due so anyway oh they're next to me okay cool um 
Um, so if I'm kind of umming and pausing, I just don't want them to know that I'm on my camera, that's all. Yeah, look at that, God is good all the time. Okay, so anyway, um, as I was saying, so what I've gathered from that and from 50 Cent's book is that, you know, we are, friends are going to, you're going to run into people, period, right? You're going to run into people, period, that are jealous of you. You're going to run into people, period, that um, they see how easily things come to you. Although we know that it's not even about things being easy. It's just, it's just simply about you putting in the work. A lot of the time, people are not seeing those hours that you are putting in. They're not seeing the, the um, you know, you burning the midnight oil. They're not seeing, um, you know, those, those losses that you're taking. All they're seeing is your wins. This is why a lot of people um, become jealous with the things that they see or they tend to um, idolize people on social media because they're all they're seeing is their wins. They're not seeing what these people are going through. And so it's harder when it comes to your friendships because even when people are seeing you do better, even when people are seeing you bust your ass, let's say that it took you, I don't know, 15 years to become a millionaire. They're not, they're forgetting about those 15 years of hard work and dedication and sacrificing and not going out and not spending money. They're not seeing that anymore. All they see now is that you've made those millions. Um, and in the book, in the 48 Laws of Power, when it talks about that, it tells you, first of all, never completely put a lot of trust in anyone. That's the first thing. But two, it's always, you know, we always wonder like, oh, why is it the people that's closest to us that will do us dirty? It's because they're the people that's closest to us. They know that we're going to least expect it. It's almost like, like their superpower, right? Like, I don't even want to say superpower. Like, what's the correct term? I don't want to say superpower, but it's like their wild card. Boom. There we go. It's like their wild card. So it's more so like. You know, this person, this if this is your friend, right? They know everything about you. They know, they know your schedule. They know your your hopes and your dreams. They know your beliefs. They know, you know, a lot of us. And I've been I've been a person like this, where I'm I'm very truthful and very vulnerable with my friends, and you're literally giving them the knife to stab you with, and that's what it talks about in the book. That's why there's that saying that like. I have more respect for my enemies because at least I know how you feel about me, right? And then it says there, like, you know, a lot of them, they rarely ever tell you the truth. They're rarely ever telling you the complete truth. So even if they think your music is whack, a lot of people ain't going to tell their friends their music is whack. And it's not always like coming from a hater place. Sometimes it's, it's coming from the place of, oh, I don't want to hurt your feelings. But if you really truly were for me, you'd be honest with me. Because here I am thinking that I'm, I got some bangers right and you're like this shit is whack and you're not telling me you're telling me behind my back if you had and whereas if you had told me i could do better the haters are gonna say your shit is whack or not really the hater but you know the enemy or the naysayer they're gonna be like yeah that shit is whack i'm not fucking with that they, that music is trash right they're gonna tell you to your face because they don't give a fuck about your feelings so a lot of the time you know um the beautiful thing in a friend becoming an enemy is that you know how they feel about you yeah, it hurts in the moment. Of course, yeah. Of course, sometimes you want to get back at them. You want to hurt them how they hurt you. Or, you know, one of the things I struggle with, I ain't going to lie to you. Like, when a friendship ends with me, especially, like, how people go out, like, how people how people plan their exit, I, it, it be foul sometimes. You know, that's when everything that they've said about said about you or everything that they feel about you starts to really come out. And, and it makes you want to, like, get at them it makes you want to want to remind them like how underneath your toe that they are right but mm -mm. your power I, for me i've always exercised my power in just letting you i'm gonna let you have it i'm gonna let you have it i'm gonna let you feel like you got that you got me it's cool i'm not tripping because a lot of the time once they become your enemy they pay more attention to you they stalk you more you know they're 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 paying attention to your every move it's a lot of people where you know, shit will go sideways or they cross you. And now they're watching you more than ever because they want to, they want to see what you up to. They're secretly hoping that you don't prosper. But when you do, they're like, you know what? I'm not surprised. She's been doing X, Y, Z, whatever, whatever. 
But it's different when it's your friend. Especially when they think they can benefit from you.